It was from some military training somewhere and there was a drill sergeant like that and some people were actually complaining and trying to sue him because the drill sergeant was talking to him like that. It's like, let's just say by chance you get captured. How nice do you think the enemy's going to be to yeah. you? It's like... I really, I really like this video that you posted. Mm -hmm. Which one? No, oh. just, I guess it's a common theme with... Yeah, just give it a play if people <laughs> haven't watched it. You put the bar on the back and you squat fucking down <laughs> feet flat like you're shitting over a hole like this you keep your back straight up and down 20 fucking reps with the bar and then i need somebody here just doing military press like push up and faces. down you got two sets of dumbbells here you just keep going Devin, get on the prowler 20 reps on the prowler if you're standing around fucking get on it you just got off the prowler, you get on the sled. Let's go. Yeah. Fuck that, you can't. 52 fucking years I've been on this fucking planet. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. You know what they're going to tell you when you want to go to the fucking big stadiums? 100,000 people. I fucking can't. Fuck that. Don't waste my fucking time. Can't. Come on, keep squat. We're gonna run fucking sprints. And we're gonna run them fucking hard. Alright, get lined up, everybody else. Get the fuck out of my way. Camera, I just like the kids spent more time on the hairstyle than. Hard, hard, hard. Get on the prowler. Get on the prowler. Get on the prowler. Don't stop until you fucking get. Don't fucking stop. Fuck me. See, he's motivated, isn't it? Fuck. Can't run anymore. Crawl. Don't worry. Fuck it. We got cell phones. We'll call 911. <laughs> Drop a fucking weight on your chest. That'll start things. We're going to do squats this <laughs> way. That's good, isn't it? No, but look, um, you know, we've been talking about issues with mm -hmm. mental health sensi sensitivities and stuff. Oh, yeah. Somebody would probably say that's abuse. That's abusing the children. Well, I bet you what, they, they, those those kids, if they listen to that guy, follow what he did, they'll mm -hmm. end up better and they, exactly. they, they would grow up and... But did you even see there was a thing not long ago, it was from some military training somewhere and there was a drill sergeant like that and some people were actually complaining and trying to sue him because the drill sergeant was talking to him like that. It's like, and some of the comments were, well, um... You're training like for military to go to war. It was like, let's just say by chance you get captured. How nice do you think the enemy's going to be to yeah. you? It's like, okay, just sit down, little one. What's your pronouns? Let me just comfort you. Even now that you're a fucking prisoner of war, can I get you a cup of tea or something? Yeah. It's like, if you can't handle being yelled at, like in some sort of training like that, then, man, you're in for a shock. <laughs> <laughs> well, the the thing, you know, there'll be people that go, oh, that's not right and, and, mm -hmm. and have these standards. But ultimately, we, we, we're in a global economy. We trade. We're, we're competing against the mm -hmm. rest of the world, just like the mm -hmm. whole world has always done. You're always in competition oh, for yeah. limited resources. So it's not what we think. It's what whatever who is leading and what they're doing. I know we've got to match them mm. so you might think it's a bit harsh but if someone else is hey, well you, it, you don't see you know, nothing against transgender but i was watching one thing where it had recruitment videos for like the chinese army the russian army and yeah, stuff and yeah. it's like full-on fucking they're out there doing drills like that and shooting and fighting you know that hand-to-hand -hand combat yeah. and then it showed you the recruitment video for the usa where it's a guy transgender with his nail polish on saying how inclusive it is i'm thinking really it's like <laughs> the rest of the world must be like <laughs> it's like oh no we can we can easily beat america we'll just take their hair dryers and nail polish away and they'll fucking go to pieces no well that's when um like now things have heated up and they're getting ready to go to war <laughs> before you'd never see um a, a, a white guy in a recruitment video mm -hmm. but that's what they're saying they're going oh we're ready to uh, go to <laughs> go to war we need some dumb white guys because we know uh, they'll um go in and, and exactly uh, and do damage yeah, yeah no just like yeah that that's the uh, um mm -hmm. we need those crazy rednecks or yeah, whatever yeah yeah yeah. get some of those guys from the bronx <laughs> yeah no no the, that have you know grown up with guns and stuff exactly like that because or even the ones from south central come on even if you shoot sideways, come on, <laughs> you gangbangers, let's go. But yeah, it's like, 
I was laughing when I was watching one of these videos and they're all about, oh, you've got to be sensitive and this and that. And I'm thinking, really? Look, no, nothing against. I'm sure there's some trans out there who are pretty full on and could kill people and stuff. But when that's what your recruitment video is about, it's like, you, you're going to war. You're not going to a fashion show yeah. or you're not going to, they don't care really sadly though some of those countries you go to and you are transgender you're going to be the first one to get your head cut off and killed and shit so <laughs> but you know in the sporting thing you're seeing in the the ufc like when you watch the fights now like so many fighters are from brazil from mm -hmm. Pakistan, mm -hmm. like these places they're just brought up tough mm -hmm. and and they'll train hard they won't complain exactly um they'll do it for for less money mm -hmm. and but they do it because they love it and like i said it's yeah. how they brought up and trained whereas i've said it before australians if you're born here or america we take so much for granted yeah, we're, so we're too lucky. spoiled yeah and like yeah. i said these people that have nothing who come yeah. from nothing and they say hey if i become good at this yeah whether it's a fighting sport or something this can get me out of this country or get me a better life they go all in whereas us we're like yeah we just sit around complain about shit and then somebody from overseas will come over and go oh look at them they took my job well it's like you could have had that job but you didn't want it because you're too good for it you yeah, know? yeah it's like i said stressed out exactly and, yeah, yeah it's yeah, like yeah. They, they don't realize like i said you go to those countries that have nothing and you then you realize what a great country australia is or america is and that's what these people who come from those countries who have nothing when they come to america or australia it's like to them it's like disneyland they're like yeah. oh my god i can actually walk down the street and there's no military group trying to kill me i can actually have an opinion and talk to people yeah. and not do this and i can actually walk into a shop and buy something or actually i can go get this job and yeah. women from other countries or i can go to school and drive cars here and stuff like that it's like the stuff we take for granted that they don't have and come over here they appreciate it whereas we just go huh, 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 we got nothing i got this i'm bored it's like and then win yeah <laughs> yeah no, crazy. no we are very very lucky but you know i think like like i wish um uh, you know, my son would have a teacher at school that would uh, yell at him it, like it, that. Yeah, I train know. him like that. But that's the thing too now, because even if our teacher did yell at us, I used to get the cane and that, but yet I was yelled at at home and got the belt at home. So to me, it was just yeah, nothing. Yeah. So now, but you know, parents are wrap their kids in cotton wool and you go sit in the corner, Tommy, and just time out. So if a teacher does raise their voice, holy hell, he's being pulled into the headmaster's office. The parents are coming up to the school how dare your teacher talk to my son like that and it's like shit you know you know when it gets in the real world it's like you know no well um no one tells my kid no it's like well, spe okay especially <laughs> in primary school they'd have things like swimming carnivals athletics carnivals or sport cancelled mm -hmm. over the most uh you know I understand that you can't go out and have a, a an athletics carnival when there's lightning and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But you know, we used to run in the rain yeah, down yeah. at Fed Federal Park. Used to almost flood. Yeah. It would be still running. Yeah, okay. If there's lightning and thunderstorms, yeah. they would stop it. But if it was just torrential rain, you were still out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. I'd come home from school. My mum would look at me and go, "You get dressed outside. Take your clothes off." Like I'd be covered in mud. My shoes would yeah, be soaked. Yeah. I was like, that was the best time ever. And then whenever you're finished, you'd actually then go running through the park and slide through the mud and the water. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, 